Hi, dear Pisces. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dear Pisces, we are going to go through your blocks. We're asking Spirit to show you the blocks in your relationship life, and then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just feel like it's that one. All right. So... This male, female imbalance, as you can see, their back is to each other. There's an inability to compromise here in a healthy way. Um, watch out for any manipulation. This is all healable. It's fixable. So no need to worry about that. But also understanding that sometimes you have to um, balance between your divine feminine and your divine masculine. And that might be a struggle for you it might be not something you want to do like you don't want to put put your foot down and have that standard um but whoa okay see what we got here as solutions um but it's healthier for you and spirit is showing you that when you are all in your divine feminine you're being taken advantage of um you might just not be mastering your emotions enough and when you're in your divine masculine, you might not um, be showing your feminine side enough. You might not be using your tone of voice enough. You might um, find that in your relationship life, if people have told you, um, oh, wow, you know, your voice just changed. I really like that. You sounded really beautiful. And you might have that block of needing to be um, respected. And just find that as you pay more attention to the tone of your voice when you're around certain people and when you're doing your work, that needs to change once you come home. Once you um, talk to your spouse, that that softer side is available to him or to her or the stronger side or however way that balance is playing out for you. But that it's empowering for you to do that. And so... This is really cool. This is super, super, super blessed for you. Empowerment, mastering your emotions, and balancing that divine feminine and divine masculine is going to help you fight that loneliness, whether you are single or coupled up. And just know that, yes, your twin flame is right there um, in your energy. And so it's really important that you see that because... With this male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine energy, your twin flame is there to teach you a lesson. Um, and that might be the lesson is balancing out the energies that you are blessed with. So that is really, really cool. Super cool. And it, it is not that easy. It's a twin flame relationship is not always cookies and cream. And you certainly do have to do some work there. And that's what that twin flame is uh, placed in your energy to do, is to help you heal those wounds within yourself that you came into this fourth dimension with. And uh, it is a beautiful blessing in that way that we get to have that mirror challenge. Um, and you, you've got this. You can do this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For those of you that are single and you are feeling a little lonely or a lot of lonely, just remember, be empowered in seeing how you can balance between showing up in more of your divine masculine or showing up in more of your divine feminine in different ways, you might be a woman that is uncomfortable working with salespeople, working with the insurance uh, person, working with um, 
repair people that show up to work on your house and needing to just balance that energy and still show up in your vulnerability is is important because you might just be needing to um, dress differently to accentuate your sexuality or to understand what is what is it that um, what is your sexual preference and what is sexuality to you and it might just be something so much it might be something so simple as just learning your body do you need to do your nails do you need to um, try different colors of nail polish do you need to groom your beard differently do you need to really shave your legs do you need to uh, wax over shaving do you need to use a different lotion um, but also just listening to the different hormonal changes as you grow you might be a very young spiritual superstar Pisces that is starting to experience hormonal changes and understanding that your hormones are uh, connected to um, your sex organs or your reproductive organs and just knowing that that all of that is or can be very empowering once you sit back and you begin to really pay attention to the way your body is and to just know that that loneliness can be channeled um, in a really positive way in learning more about yourself and what you do um, think about more often and knowing that yes you will have love in your life so there's a lot going on here Pisces oh wow someone else got cardinal focus on the different balances in your life something is out of balance and so just need to focus on getting that back into sync and the spirit of the octopus will help you shape shape shift to get there practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms is exactly what we just talked about so spirit is definitely um, synchronistically sharing your spiritual guidance with you through me and that's a blessing for me so thank you for letting me do that for you but the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium and let me just share what spirit just said to me the loneliness is because of some of you seeking physical connection versus spiritual connection in a partner in a spouse and that is where the imbalance is. And so just coming back in together and understanding how you are empowered and how you are left feeling lonely when you want to be empowered by your partner. And if you're single, to really focus on your standards and your boundaries and your requirements in relationship life now. Before I go through your affirmation, I want to just pause and just share with you what I feel is... Um, where you're at this month in your energies and the placement of the stars. I feel like you come into October, Pisces, with this awareness of value and your sense of standard and your sense of boundary and your sense of what you require in relationship life and what does sexuality mean to you. Um, whether or not you want to have children, whether or not you are going to. Um, how are you shape-shifting into who you are becoming? Does this person leave you feeling empowered or feeling like you want to cry? Uh, where is that balance between your dignity, your self-respect, and feeling lonely um, with this uh, person that might be your twin flame or the energy that's pulling you towards your twin flame in your reunion that's certainly getting ready to happen or re-manifest after your separation? be it in another lifetime or this lifetime and getting back in with an ex. But that is so important because it opens you up to really create this solid foundation, this new beginning in around the 16th, give or take 72 hours before and certainly thereafter of being open to receiving support and acceptance from 
another. This is energy that is transforming around the 16th and you have the blessed ingredients to transform your love life um, around the 16th. And so by the end of the month, there's an awareness and an energy of I'm going to communicate that. And you've got the blessings there. All you have to do is take that leap of faith and open your mouth and exercise your throat chakra because this full moon, blue moon, beautifully blessed energy for you is literally encouraging you to communicate how you feel and to do it effectively in a healthy way um, about yourself, to express yourself, whether you're single or coupled up. But this is social media. This is texting. This is video. This is marketing, advertising, the new you. So this is beautiful energy for you. No, don't feel bad. This month, dear Pisces. All right. All right. So yeah. So there's full integration here, and with the spiritual meaning to forty-four. This is, it's, you're coming full circle. This is transformation. And this is all of the Earth's energy, all of the universe's energy, the, all the four elements, the seasons. This is longevity. So this is something that is pulling you into the next chapters of your life. I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. And that is your affirmation. Counseling is here. And so I really want you to really give this your full meditation and reflection this month. Um, seek mediation from a, a professional resource, a trusted um, source, an ally. And consult with each other if you're coupled up, certainly. Um, if you're single or coupled up. Showing your thoughts and feelings and sharing your thoughts and feelings opens you up to the greater possibilities that Source has in store for you right now. And so really exercising your throat chakra as Spirit showed earlier. Dear Pisces, what a beautiful month of change for you. You own it and just remember that you can be empowered and deserve to be empowered in your love life. And bringing that balance to your love life between your divine masculine and divine feminine is going to be a beautiful thing. And as you learn more about yourself and what you truly desire and deserve, and um, I, I just truly believe that you're going to be smiling all the way through it, even with this little bit of toxic kind of, confrontational energy there but we talked about that where you're going to balance between your divine masculine and divine feminine and be empowered versus taken for granted or taken advantage of Pisces at the end of the day I want you to always remember this you truly deserve the type of love that's on your soul take great care and I look forward to working with you and reading for you very soon. Just click the links down below if I can be of service to you.